Hey, what's going on, everyone? Uh, today is May the 27th, 2022. We're going to talk about Netflix today and see if a massive move is coming now. In terms of massive, that just simply means a wide range of price movement, whether up or down. I'll talk about that on this video because if I think price is about to go up, then guess what? I'm going to predict that. So welcome to the channel to those who are new. If today's your first time ever seeing my videos, my content, I do price predictions. Yes, I predict where prices are going to go. And I know that you may have heard that you can predict where prices are going to go. Well, they haven't seen my channel because I got all my videos here to where I do just that price predictions. So if you guys want to learn more, join the team, hit the like button. Should have been also subscribe here to the channel. Type that bell notification as well. Because I don't want you all to miss out on my videos, all my content of me predicting where I suspect prices are going to go. All right. So join in. Look at this. Did a video in Netflix on April the 21st. And as I zoom out, you guys can see that there is not a price prediction. No, it's not one. I wanted to wait to see where can we find the bid? Like, where are the buyers? Because at some point, people will come in and buy this stock. While everyone on YouTube is telling you come in and buy the dip, they want you to hold the stock for the next 5,000 years. And hopefully in the next 5,000 years, you will be able to recoup the benefits of you keeping that money locked up. I don't do that. I wait until I see buyers. Maybe we've seen that today. Let's talk. First thing I'm going to do. I'm going to get rid of this ascending line because that trend is now broken. We are not in a bull market in Netflix, period. Don't let no one come in here and deceive you and fool you and trick you into thinking that this is a bull market. When price breaks trend, you have to follow the breakage. If you would have took note of Netflix breaking this trend back in March of this year, you could have been saved from this massive breakdown in the stock's price. The information was already here. Let's not get tricked. Let's not get fooled. Price is not lying to you. When these things occur, you need to take action. So let's move this line. OK, so literally, since we're no longer in a uptrend, then we are in a downtrend and I want you all to look how massive this downtrend is and next it's like this market is severely broken this trend is massively broken look at that look how strong that slope is so now what we're going to do today is we're going to try to find out have we made a stoppage in Netflix price, right? Have we seen that? Let's see. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. Uh, let me go hit this on the monthly chart real quick because I want you all to see this from the monthly perspective. This chart is massively weak. Again, look at that. Last month wasn't positive for the Netflix buyers. This month, I want you all to notice what's changed, right? When we come in and look at the charts, look at both of these monthly price bars. The price spread on this current month, May, it's a lot smaller, but the volume is coming in. Right. We're seeing a decent amount of volume for the month of May, but that price bar spread is so small versus what happened in April. Look how wide that spread is. So we're, we're finding some breaks being applied in the market in Netflix right now. And it's right here around one hundred sixty dollars. OK, that's it may just be momentarily like I don't want you all to think that that's the bottom. This is it. Price from here on out is going to go up. That doesn't mean that because of this five monthly chart. Look at this. I don't think people realize <laughs> that the stock market is broken, that the market overall is screaming that we are in some dire straits. You're not seeing that on mainstream media. 
They're not harping on like what happened in 2008 and everything was fear and gloom. You're not hearing that this time because they're trying to null us to sleep. But when you look at the price chart, it's giving us a different picture. Now, you guys can see here in Netflix, right? How many five month price bars did it take for us to see Netflix go from $160 to 600 or 700 dollars how many months let's count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen five months price bars all of that work all of that energy people buying people selling lifting the price in netflix and 14 five monthly price bars is now gone in one in one that tells you Something's changed. Something's changed. We haven't seen Netflix trade at $160 since June of 2017. That's five years. Five years. So in June of 2017, take this for instance, right? You guys know, uh, you may hear a lot of people say, hold the stock for five years, right? Okay. Now, let's say that you bought Netflix in 2017, right? You bought it in 2017 of June. Here it is five years later, June of 2022. You're no longer in profit. You might be minimally in profit right now. Look at that. You literally saw your profits as you bought in 2017. You were up. 294% right here on this five monthly price bar of last year in November. You saw all of that dwindle evaporate to where, if anything, you're up eight and a quarter percent. Way to go to those who's telling you all to hold the stock for the long term. You just let 500% go because of what they tell you to do, hold for the long term. So now many of you are going to say, well, I guess I got to hold it now. I mean, I lost 400, 500 percent. All of it's gone in less than five months. Now, let me let me talk, though. OK, let me go ahead and show you what I'm thinking, because actually I'm looking for the price in Netflix to go up. OK, now me saying that I'm not one of these massive. Bullish individuals that's telling you he's going to shoot to the moon. No. I'm going to look for Netflix to go up, but let's be reasonable. OK, let's not act like we're crazy into thinking that Netflix is going to hit five hundred dollars. OK, so let's try to gauge how high we think price is going to go, because I see one area right here that can literally impact Netflix price, which is around 204, 205. That's the first spot. That's it. That's the first area that we can see restriction coming to the market in Netflix 204. Now, that gives us six point eight, four percent. Like I'm here, I'm here to tell you that we don't come through and try to dictate what we want from the market. We simply take what it's offering. If the market only going to offer us 6.84%, we'll take it. We'll take it and move on to the next play and take the next one. Right? So that's the first one, 204. Okay. My second price target, which I really don't see it going towards will be up here towards 212 okay and that's 11 and a quarter percent that's it that's it now i could outside the norm we may see the market in netflix come up here to 225 but i don't want to put that out right now i need to see continuational strength on the chart before i become that bullish all right so we got 204 and 212 okay now this is the last day of this trading week and let's say that netflix ends closing at the high of this weekly price bar okay let's say it does then i will definitely be looking for price to go up okay so i'm looking for price to go up but in a reasonable move okay i'm not here looking for the market to move climactively to six thousand dollars anything like that okay so now let's go ahead and play that okay it's your turn so I'm looking at the market in Netflix going 
you guys seen you guys heard and now you all know make sure you maintain a profitability trade different